me again. Day three for the Platinum Ring excursion. <laughs> I'm hoping that all the tents are down that have been delaying my progress so I can get this taken care of today. The place is a gorgeous place to use my metal detector. However, this time of year, I would really prefer to be out on the water because it's so much more fun and it's nice and cool. So I'm really gonna pound that pavement, so to speak, even though I'm not gonna be pounding pavement, <laughs> and try to get that ring found today. That is my goal, definitely today, so I can move on to my next spot. Okay, I'll get back to you at the first good target. This ring up a 1920, it's a nice little buckle. I don't know how old that might be. I'll have to clean that up later when we get home. We're on limited time and I'm still looking for that platinum ring. I'm assuming it's going to ring up like a penny on this nice little buckle. Ring up in 1920. Still searching for that platinum ring. I'm assuming it's going to ring up like a penny. Never found platinum before, so I don't know for sure. This is a nice find. I don't know how old that is. I'm guessing it probably is. It's about an inch down, so that tells me maybe the ring won't be so deep. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm not sure what these are. Ring up 12, 13. This looks like a sliding knob for something. Oops. Maybe for a drawer. Or a drawer pull. I don't know what that other item is. No ring yet. Still looking. Well, one of my favorite finds. <laughs> Silverware, but it's not old. Oneida, something pearl. So definitely not even silver, but cool. That's a keeper. This ring up a 1617. No idea what that is. It's on a little stand. Maybe it's part of a lock or a key. That's the winder. Very interesting, whatever it is. I guess a key could go in there. Or maybe part of a clock. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Has anyone seen one of these before? I'm almost out of time, so I can't spend much time on it. But that's interesting. Okay, moving on. Got another buckle. Signal's all over, so I'm sure there's something else still in the hole. Looks the same as the other buckle, maybe just a tad smaller. Pretty cool. I don't know what these are from, but apparently there were a few of them out here in this one little courtyard. So, pretty cool. Okay, moving on. This ring up at 13. I forgot to... It's some kind of a keychain or a necklace centavos okay so maybe it's Mexican money I don't know if it's an old one or not probably not it's pretty dirty but that's pretty cool it was added as a keychain or a necklace or a bracelet something like that oops I don't know if it's a real coin or not Oh, 1968. That's pretty cool. Okay, I guess that's my find of the day. All right, the cleanup from the other night. This is definitely a lantern uh, lid with the, um, oh, what's that thing called that makes it rise? The riser, <laughs> I'll call it for lack of a better word. Can't remember what it's called. And this is the coin, 1968 coin from, where was it? No, centi, I don't know, centavos, that's it, a centavos. So I think it's a 50 cent piece with a little hook on it. So maybe it was a necklace or a keychain. Here's the two buckles. They could be from the 1800s, early 1900s. 
Don't know. This is some type of a clamp. It does turn. I can see that it was probably brass. That looks like brass to me. And this bottom piece opens and closes based on tightening and untightening. I got most of the dirt out of it, but not all of it. I think that's a really cool piece, but I have no idea what it was used for. But it clamped what was in between there. If you have any idea what it was used for, that would be so cool. I might put that on the Facebook ID, ID me page. I think I actually, I think I will. It was just so cool. All right, that. I took this because I thought it was really cool. Bergens, I guess it is. And this I've never heard of. Rogue, dedicated to the rogue in each of us. Just a couple of good pennies, 1960s. I think a 61 and a 68. No, 61 and 66. Pennies that rot, so they're after 82. They're all after 1982. And this little piece, not sure what that is. Thought it might be a bullet, but yeah, I don't think so. Not with this pointed end like that. Maybe some type of a scraping tool. Oops. Keep it in focus. Very heavy, though. Some kind of design on it maybe i don't know i just don't know but these are some really good finds i was really happy with that all right that's all moving on this loosens and tightens the bottom piece it's like a clamp of some type found in the ground I've tightened it too much. 